everybody. Okay, so today is a great day. The water is rough out there in the Gulf. It's like small craft advisory. But this guy is calling me. It's like two foot green. Good little cascade. I'm a little worried about the cloud cover here. I don't like to be out there when there's a lot of cloudiness. Sharks are real guys. They're real. But I think I'm gonna take this guy out. Samantha said I'm supposed to be working on the camper because we're going camping this weekend. But I'm sneaking off. I'm sneaking off. We're gonna make this a video. So everybody needs something that gets the negativity out of your life. Whether it's fishing, surfing, but surfing is one of those things where you can get out there and see like the spiritualness of, of nature. Sorry to get to like spiritual and everything, but you can get out there on the water. It's just you and the board in the water. And it really just clears your mind of like all the negativity stuff. I think main reason is because you're constantly doing something. You're moving, you're getting, you're moving towards a goal to catch the wave, to get paddled out, to get in position. So you gotta be thinking about things. There's so many times in life where we get surrounded by so much negativity, especially dealing with the negativity on the internet. You know, like I wake up every morning and you read some of the comments of some of the people that are just trying to destroy you and all you're trying to do is bring something like lightning, heart, uh, good hearted, or trying to help the world like through a GoFundMe account or things like that, trying to help somebody in Panama City that's out there in, as a hurricane victim. And you're still like getting negative comments from people about you doing that. Like I've, I've yet to understand that. So sometimes you just gotta find that thing in life, whether it's fishing, surfing, whatever, that just keeps that negativity at bay. Cause you're a direct summation of the people that hang around you, you hang around, both financially, mentally, and health-wise. So you gotta find those things to like weed those people out of your life and to, to keep yourself occupied because literally negativity is like a weed. And if you don't spend time to like fight that thing back by listening to things, putting positivity in your life, it's gonna creep back in and it's gonna wind up conquering you. So today, we're going out there, we're gonna see what the waves are doing. It's gonna be a fun day, everybody. So I'm not really good at this whole surfing thing, but I have a lot of fun doing it. Even when I crash and wipe out, it's a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about. I'm not really trying to get out there and impress anybody, as long as I'm having fun. Washing away those negativities. Because trust me, I used to be one of those negative people, always just kind of like, you know, old and crusty. Just getting old and crusty by the day. Until I said, you know what? This doesn't feel right. Got motivated, put some good people around me, surrounded myself with people that were going places. Not people that like beat down my ideas because this YouTube thing was kind of like a new idea at the time. People really kind of shunned it. But I wouldn't be where I'm at now if I would listen to those people. Surrounded myself with people that were going places, were better than me financially, better than me with their work ethic, and it rubbed off. Because you, you will literally cancel out those good vibrations with those negative people. So I made it out here, got the surfboard, wind is perfect. I haven't got to see the water yet, it's way up there. But I'm doing my best to like film this. I haven't quite figured out how to film surfing. It's kind of hard to do it by yourself. Even harder than kayak fishing. But we're gonna try it. I got a GoPro, we're gonna see how it goes. So I haven't been able to go surfing in a while. The water during the summer here in Pensacola just is not like conducive to surfing. It's just not very, uh, there's not enough waves. You gotta kinda longboard, if anything. Every once in a while you'll get big enough for like a short board. But I've got a uh, Walden Magic model and uh, it does pretty good here. Nine six, I think it's like three and a quarter by, I used to know the dimensions, but it's like three and a quarter thick by, I just look up the Walden Magic model nine six. It's, uh, it's big enough for me, I'm like one, 185, 190. 
that's the problem when you're uh, surfing, when you start out surfing. If you start out with a board that's too small, like the other one I have in the garage, it's hard to learn because you can't catch as many waves. When you get a big board like nine, six and above, you can catch a ripple. So like that's really the key. And it took me like two years to figure it out because I kept missing a lot of waves because I wasn't really good at paddling at first because paddling is the hardest part at first, promise. But uh, I learned to like judge waves. Ooh, it looks magic up here. Check this out. But yeah, but yeah, you know, it's just like, one of those things like the more you do it the more you realize what you want and this magic model is like perfect i mean i take a 10 footer but just because the waves aren't that big but it looks magic out here the only thing is uh it's breaking pretty close to shore just don't fall forward guys that's how you get hurt there's a kid that died out here last year falling forward hit the sandbar with his neck dead instantaneously they had a paddle out for him which was kind of cool but he was pretty young all right let's get to it That was fun. It's really hard to film with a GoPro on the chest and surf. Headed back to the office now. Oh geez, here it comes. guys so trying new things has really allowed me to keep moving forward in life and keep you know having a smile on my face to constantly looking out and finding something new that captivates me creating new chapters in my life you know constantly having something new entertaining fun to go after and try to like conquer because I believe in life if we're not starting new chapters and starting new things we're standing still and if we're standing still that's the equivalent of like dying. Like we have to constantly be moving forward and finding cool things to do. It stimulates us mentally and physically, it keeps us in shape. So I'm pretty excited to say that the GoFundMe account that me and Brant started is like 2,400 bucks. Pretty pumped about that. We raised it from nothing. So we're probably gonna disperse that later this week. We're gonna pick some uh, companies out of like thin air. We're still going through a list to make sure it goes to the right people, the right things. Um, if you're in Panama City and you know of some good ones, comment down below and I'll add them to the list. But that's gonna be done later that this week. Those, those families down there were hit hard. I mean, it is absolutely leveled. Like the magnitude is not, I don't even think sunken in yet. I know like Mariana, all the pine trees are gone. Like tops of everything is crushed. Like cotton fields leveled, like the whole nine yards. I mean, I don't even think there's an anthill left standing. I mean, even those dudes got hit and they rebuilt fast. Keep your prayers out for them. I know that there's a lot of people in Pensacola right now for Panama City. A lot of people got displaced and they're waiting for power to come back on. And it's probably gonna be years before Panama City is close to what it used to be. It's that bad. So keep your prayers going for them, send what you can, and just don't take them out of your minds because it is truly hit hard, truly hit hard. But that's it for the vlog today, guys. I wanted to announce uh, you know, what the GoFundMe was going at, and uh, I've sent out the, the pin reel for the, the winner of last week's drawing. I think I'm gonna wind up doing um, another drawing here, uh, or another uh, giveaway here pretty soon. Um, this week's been crazy. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Don't forget to check back. I think I'm gonna be doing another vlog tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get in at least four videos this week. But that's it guys, see you tomorrow.